In the vast tapestry of time, there exists a moment when the boundless expanse of space collides with the intricate threads of human imagination. Picture it, the year was 1978, a time when the world was not yet tethered to the digital realm, and television screens held the power to transport us light years away from the mundane. It was within this cosmic embrace that many had their first dance with the mesmerizing brilliance of the TV series Battlestar Galactica. Oh, the memories. Can you recall that exhilarating rush as you embarked on a journey through uncharted galaxies, where starships carved luminous trails against the obsidian backdrop? Or perhaps it was the characters who etched themselves onto your soul, the indomitable Commander Adama, the enigmatic Cylons, the spirited Viper pilots. Each episode was a pulsating heartbeat, a constellation of emotions that left an indelible mark upon the fabric of your being. And let's not forget those scenes that froze time itself. Maybe it was a breathtaking dogfight among the stars, where the fate of humanity dangled by a thread. Or that heart-stopping moment when revelations unfurled like celestial secrets, leaving you grappling with the mysteries of existence. But enough of reminiscing, for the cosmic tide beckons us forward. As we venture deeper into the realms of Battlestar Galactica, prepare to traverse the asteroid fields of trivia and unearth the hidden gems that shimmer like stardust. From the inception of the series to the behind-the-scenes tales that mirror constellations of creativity, these random facts are the meteors that will light up your curiosity. So, my fellow explorer of the stars, fasten your seatbelt in the viper of imagination as we chart a course through the cosmos of knowledge. Together, we shall unravel the tapestry of this iconic show, one supernova of information at a time. And as we voyage through the universe of facts, remember that the most captivating stories often emerge from the depths of the cosmos. Battlestar Galactica, a 1978 TV series, emerged as a space opera conceived by Glenna Larson. It narrates the struggle of a fleet of humans, led by the titular spaceship Battlestar Galactica, fleeing from the robotic Cylons, who've annihilated their home planets. Notable characters include Captain Apollo, Lieutenant Starbuck, and Commander Adama. With its mix of futuristic technology and ancient mythology, the show flaunted a unique style, blending space battles with spiritual themes. Its impact on popular culture was profound, setting a template for future sci-fi shows and amassing a dedicated fan base. Transitioning to the main content, on the production front, the show faced challenges with budget constraints, leading to recycled effects from Larson's earlier series and necessitating creative solutions. The charismatic dynamics between characters, especially the bromance between Apollo and Starbuck, resonated with viewers, adding depth to the space adventure. Notably, the show's cancellation after a single season left many storylines unresolved, which fans lamented. Another interesting facet was the connection to Mormon theology, suggested through themes of exodus and rebirth, reflecting Larson's beliefs. Additionally, the show's memorable musical score by Stu Phillips became iconic, contributing to its enduring legacy. Battlestar Galactica underwent a reboot in 2004, achieving critical acclaim for its darker, nuanced narrative. Despite its short original run, the 1978 series' influence on sci-fi storytelling remains palpable, underlining the impact of its space-furring saga and moral dilemmas. Tektronik's technological mark on Battlestar Galactica's bridge in the realm of interstellar battles in Cosmic Odysseys, the iconic 1978 TV series Battlestar Galactica left an indelible mark on science fiction. Amid the epic spacefaring drama, a lesser-known yet fascinating detail emerges, the utilization of standard electronic laboratory equipment from Tektronix, Inc., as integral props on the Galactica's bridge. These control panels, resembling 19 inches wide racks, were crafted from Tektronix mainframe designs, housing a plethora of test equipment components. As if straight from the shelves of an electronic library, the bridge's controls featured multimeters, power supplies, and signal generators. These sleek racks formed tier upon tier of functional adornments, seamlessly blending technology with the otherworldly aesthetic. Tektronix's contribution was deemed so significant that the company's name found a place in the closing credits, acknowledged for providing the vital test and display equipment. The fusion of Tektronix's cutting-edge hardware with the Galactica's futuristic setting speaks to the meticulous attention to detail in the series' production. 
In a universe defined by starships and Cylons, it's a testament to the era's innovative spirit that real-world electronics could seamlessly blend with the fantastical narrative. The legacy of Battlestar Galactica endures, a beacon of imagination where even the mundane trappings of a laboratory found their cosmic purpose. John Colicos, from Balter to Mikos Cassidine John Colicos, renowned for his unforgettable portrayal of Balter in the 1978 TV series Battlestar Galactica, found his meteoric rise to fame intertwined with unexpected avenues. It's said that Colicos' compelling performance as the cunning and treacherous Balter not only etched his name in sci-fi history, but also led to unforeseen opportunities beyond the cosmos. Reportedly, it was Kalikos' mesmerizing depiction of the traitorous Balter that caught the attention of casting directors for General Hospital's sensational Ice Princess story arc in the summer of 1981. This connection between his two iconic roles, separated by genres, underlines the depth and versatility of Kalikos' talent. In his native Toronto in 1991, Calico stood on a different stage, captivating theater audiences with his live performances. After the curtain fell, a unique tribute echoed through the theater walls, applause and chants of Balter lives. This testament to his impact on popular culture further solidified his status as a cult figure. Calico's journey didn't stop there. Beyond the realm of Battlestar Galactica, he ventured into the cosmos of Star Trek portraying the memorable Klingon Commander Corps in the episode Errand of Mercy. This landmark appearance not only introduced the Klingons to the Star Trek universe, but also set the stage for Kalikos' reprisal of the role in several episodes of Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. As the galaxies of science fiction expanded, John Kalikos continued to leave an indelible mark, transforming from the calculating Balter to the formidable Mikos Cassidine and the iconic Klingon Commander Corps. His legacy lives on, a testament to the interstellar power of a talented performer. Richard Hatch's dual role in Battlestar Galactica Universe in the realm of the 1978 TV series Battlestar Galactica, the charismatic Richard Hatch achieved a unique distinction. Notably, he emerged as the sole actor to traverse between the original show and its later iteration. However, intriguingly, Hatch's journey was not one of replication, but transformation. In the show's rebirth, Hatch assumed a fresh identity as Tom Zarek, diverging significantly from his initial portrayal of Apollo. While Apollo commanded sympathy in his valiant endeavors, Zarek emerged as a character far less sympathetic, marked by an aura of complexity and shades of gray. This departure showcased Hatch's versatile acting prowess, propelling him into a divergent yet equally captivating realm within the Battlestar Galactica universe. Such a seamless transition not only highlights the actor's range, but also attests to the series' penchant for reinvention. In this distinctive portrayal, Richard Hatch etched his legacy by juxtaposing two characters that symbolized contrasting facets of the human spirit leaving an indelible mark on the world of science fiction television. In the realm of television lore, the 1978 series Battlestar Galactica stands as a beacon of science fiction ingenuity. The saga of humanity's flight from the mechanized Cylon menace captivated audiences with its interstellar drama and iconic characters. One such figure was the endearing Boxy, whose true name remained shrouded in mystery throughout the series. Interestingly, the enigma of Box's real name was eventually unraveled in the 1980 sequel, Galactica 1980. Portrayed by Kent McCord, who was once a contender for the role of Apollo in the original series, Boxy was christened with the name Troy. This revelation marked a significant shift, shedding light on a character previously known by an alias. Amidst the casting considerations for the show, a fascinating turn of fate was at play. Don Johnson, later to gain fame in Miami Vice, vied for the role of Lieutenant Starbuck. However, it was Dirk Benedict who ultimately clinched the role, partly attributed to Johnson's southern accent. Benedict's charismatic portrayal added a layer of charm to the character, becoming an indelible facet of the show's legacy. As the galaxies converged, the cosmic tapestry of Battlestar Galactica remained woven with intricate threads of character and circumstance. The revelation of Boxy's name and the untold stories behind casting choices only served to deepen the allure of this timeless space odyssey.
Battlestar Galactica's epic journey from lawsuits to synthesized voices in the late 1970s, Battlestar Galactica soared onto television screens, captivating audiences with its spacefaring saga. Amidst its cosmic allure, the show was entwined with intriguing controversies and technical marvels that left an indelible mark on science fiction television. One such chapter in the series' history unfolded when ABC, grappling with high production expenses, decided to cancel Battlestar Galactica. However, this twist of fate sparked a tug of war between two television giants. NBC and CBS, enticed by the show's allure, stepped into the fray. CBS even considered slotting it in as a mid-season replacement. But as celestial as these prospects were, neither network sealed the deal. Universal and NBC later merged, evolving into Comcast entities, paving the way for the remake to find its home on the SYFY channel, a testament to the cosmic connections shaping the TV landscape. Yet, beyond network intrigues, legal tempests brewed. George Lucas in 20th Century Fox raised eyebrows, accusing the show's producers of sailing too close to the winds of Star Wars, Episode IV A New Hope. There were undeniable resemblances. Galactica shifted course after its pilot to ride the popularity wake of Star Wars. It even enlisted the same visual effects wizards and a kindred concept designer. The dispute scorched on until 1980 when the lawsuit's fires were extinguished, leaving the show free to chart its own trajectory among the stars. Adding to the series' distinctive aura were the voices of Cylon Centurions, those enigmatic metallic beings. Crafted with finesse by Michael Santiago, the synthesized, robotic tones emanated from the M's vocoder 2000. A rarity in its own right, this device grew scarcer with time, its price soaring higher than a starship's warp speed. The turn of the millennium further inflated its value, making it a veritable treasure in the annals of sonic technology. And so, Battlestar Galactica unfolded, a tapestry woven with network intrigue, legal clashes, and pioneering audio ingenuity. As the stars aligned, the show transcended the confines of its era, etching its legacy into the cosmos of television history. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the cosmos and the captivating world of Battlestar Galactica, we find ourselves suspended between memories of the past and the infinite possibilities of the future. The intertwining destinies of man and machine, the echoes of So Say We All, and the pulse-pounding battles against overwhelming odds have left an indelible mark on our hearts. Like a constellation in the night sky, Battlestar Galactica's tale shines brightly across time inviting us to ponder our own humanity, our capacity for resilience, and the intricate threads that connect us all. Whether you discovered it during its original airing or ventured into its universe years later, the series has united us in a shared sense of wonder and contemplation. Now, it's your turn. What were the moments that ignited your imagination? The characters whose journeys you followed with bated breath. How has Battlestar Galactica influenced your perspective on life? ethics, and the profound question of what it means to be human. Your thoughts are like stardust, unique and precious, and we invite you to share them with us. So, as we bid adieu to the Galactica and its crew, let's not allow this voyage to end. Instead, let's keep the flame alive by exchanging stories, insights, and reflections. Together, we can continue exploring the infinite galaxies of thought that this series has sparked within us. Thank you for embarking on this odyssey through space and the recesses of our minds. Your time and passion are cherished, and your voice adds yet another layer to the ongoing narrative of Battlestar Galactica. Wishing you stellar adventures and boundless contemplation.